Welcome to Rally Hunt Club. In this webisode, we're going to go over our third batch of trail camera photos. Now, I'm going to go over them just like I did last time. I'm going to be talking to you through this on um, my laptop's um, webcam, and I'm just going to look at the photos as I would look at them when I harvest the cards from the um, from the trail cameras. Now. This batch we had about 24 cameras. I've taken out about six or seven. We kind of repositioned some of the cameras. We're not going to run as much corn now. It's getting closer to bow season. So we're going to try to position the cameras closer on the bow stands. And we're still going to try to get some rub out velvet. They should be rubbing out of velvet the next couple weeks. And our, our deer normally rub out of velvet anywhere from the 15th of August to the 1st of September, as late as the 15th of September. So let's go over some of these photos now. I'm just going to look at them, random, and talk about them. Now this first buck, he's um he's probably a three and a half year old. It's a July 10th photo. He's got some decent horns. Um, obviously they've got another three weeks of growing. I think this other one's m most likely a three and a half. It's hard to age these deer. Uh, yeah, he's definitely a three and a half. It's hard to age them because they haven't put on all the mass that they're going to put in on for the summer. And their antlers are growing. Plus, the velvet adds thickness to them. So, once they rub off start and their neck starts swelling, you start getting a better picture of what they are. But there's a, they're a nice buck. He's, his brow tines are kind of lopsided. And um, he's, he's most likely a three and a half is what I'm thinking. Which, um, which three and a half are legal shooting deer in this club um the rules are it has to be outside the ears or three and a half or better or uh four points or better on one side so he's a nice i wish his i wish his main beams matched a little bit better but he's a young deer he's going to be a nice one so definitely going to be a nice one here's a bobcat we had the bobcat i thought i'd throw that photo in there Getting on through there, daytime picture of him. The does are doing real good with the fawns. Nice twin fawns. Now here's a bachelor group hanging out on the power line. This deer had a lot of um, similar traits to the ones we call no brow. Um, they don't, which is uh, a genetic that we have where the deer don't have very much um, brow times. Obviously, he does have some brow times. We call him no brow, and um, you can see he's got a little bit on the left and a nub on the right and um this one's probably a um definitely a two and a half year old but the other one too so there you can see the difference that's why you can say those are two and a half and those ones before probably most likely are three and a half and there's those ones before that we had photos down at the other end you see they got a little bit bigger body than the other one so i would say they're definitely three and a half but i'm not an aging expert <laughs> And tell you what I like to shoot and what I don't like to shoot. Buck getting the corn. That Moultrie camera has a real, real bright flash right there. He's got a little junk on his. He's got a little beam coming off his side beam. And um, we've seen some genetics like that before too. And um, that's that. That's that good three and a half that we were talking about. I'm more and more I look at him, the more I think he is three and a half. Now, I don't think he's going to be bigger than a 120 inch deer. And Chuck and I personally are not going to shoot those kind of deer. Um, I want something bigger to go on the wall. And um, I think we're trying to shoot 130, 135, the bigger deer that we target. But um, there's a bunch of club members we have. My kid, Chuck's kids, never killed a big buck. So three and a half walks out we're going to shoot them i'd like to see them go older but you got so many guys paying good money as long as they're going to put them on the wall i have no problem them shooting three and a half year old bucks but if i have a guy or a member that is shooting three and a half bucks just to be shooting three and a half bucks they're not they're cutting the antlers off they're not putting them on the wall then i'm gonna get a little agitated and i'm actually gonna to talk to that member so as long as the members are willing to pay the 400 dollars and put them on the wall i'm okay now this is a real lopsided type, ugly looking horned deer. He's got great broad tines, but you can see his main beams don't match up. So he's not the most desirable two and a half, so maybe he'll straighten up. But that'd be a good picture to show next year. And there's the bachelor group. I've had a, that group as many as seven in one photo. And there's that good old rain we need for the soybeans. And it's July 16th. 
I thought his ear, something was wrong with his ear, the way it looked right there, because that was a real funky-looking pose. But apparently they're not. He's just moving around, and that camera's doing a real good job with him. But um, now he could grow. He could grow another 10, 15 inches because it's only halfway through July, and they normally stop growing around the 1st of August is normally when we start seeing them grow, stop growing. And then they normally rub out anywhere from the 15th of August to the 1st of September and sometimes later to the 15th. But normally between the 15th of August and the 1st of September is what we've seen on our club. So I might be on here saying, hey, he grew. I changed my mind. He might be a shooter that I might take. So, so let's change over. I think I got some more pictures of those deer. I didn't mean to do that. Let me see here. Yeah, same ones. Now this is a new one. This is a three, definitely a three and a half. He's called the the double corkscrew buck. He is a nice looking buck. He has got some real good potential. If I could put a um, if I could put a um sign or a ribbon around him and told my club members not to shoot him this would be the deer to be that age i did get him aged by a taxidermist but to be that age and have that kind of main beams lengths and tines and it's only he's got another two to three weeks of growth he is going to be a big one so i'm hoping he stays on this camera so we can continue getting photos of him but he is going to be a nice one but i don't think he's going to be when I say he's going to be a nice one, he's going to be a nice one next year. Now, some of our club members would love to shoot him, like I said, so I'm not going to say anything to them as long as they mount him. I personally would love to see my son, my, who's 12 years old, never shot a big horn deer. And then there's that no-brow type deer that we talked about before. All right, I got one more group of photos. And this is another field that we have of soybeans planted. And we look at the number of deer out there mowing them down. <laughs> all right doing a good job mowing it down and this one's sway now this is a three and a half kind of like the double court screw buck i just talked to you about he was a nice deer last year about 120 inches is what we measured him to be with some software that we have and i was just like maybe he can make it through the year nobody shooting he'll be a bigger one next year well, sure enough, he made it. He's definitely a four and a half. We've got pictures of him for the last three years. I've talked to him. I talked about him so much on this reality hunt club, and here he is. And um, I tell you flat out, I, this is one I'd like love to shoot with my bow. And um, he's a four and a half. This is July 7th. I mean, actually, July 6th. And he's got a lot more growing to do. And um, nice, big old mature. He's the mature buck out there. He's only eight, but that's the best you can do. So, got a lot of eight points this year, not a lot of tens. So, anyway, we ran um, we ran 24 cameras, and um, we had two more bucks that we don't have on here. One was a three and a half, one was a two and a half. We pulled 24 cards out of these cameras. We got confused, and we accidentally deleted two of these other bucks. One of them had about a two inch drop time, which was kind of real unique to our club. I think we've only We've never killed or seen a deer with a drop time. The guy that hunted it before told us he, he killed a deer with a drop time. It's been about 10 years ago. So that's really interesting. Drop times are not very popular around where we hunt. So to see a deer with a drop time, I was really excited about that photo. And then, of course, Murphy Law jumped up, and we deleted that photo that had the drop time. So, so anyway, we, um, we pulled some of the cameras out. We repositioned them, like I said before and i'm um, getting ready for bow season and this is the third batch of photos we're going to start getting some more photos we're going to start putting a hit list together as they start rubbing out of velvet um this is reality hunt club i'm bringing it to you as we see it the deer are going to start getting more and more um popular on the cameras when they start rubbing out their um rubbing off the velvet their testosterone is going to start going through there they're not going to be hanging out in those big friendly bachelor group they're going to start really hating each other and they'll start roaming more right now these bucks are staying in core areas of no more than 200 acres and as soon as they rub that all out which any any time after 15th of august first of september around that time frame then we're going to start getting more bucks to come in and i think we had like 20 to 25 shooters last year that were legal bucks on the hit list 
and I'd say we had three to four, four and a half year olds. The rest of them are three and a half year olds. So a lot of those bucks just start coming back, and a lot of those are named bucks. We hope they come back, and I hope I can bring them to you as I get them. And um, we're really excited. The season's both seasons uh, about six weeks away, so we're really excited. So thanks for watching Reality Hunt Club, and we'll keep bringing um, bringing it to you as we do it. So um, stay tuned. Got a lot more episodes coming on down the road.